YouTube. What's up, guys? Today, we're gonna go over some patch notes, some updates they have this week. Are you guys liking Black Ops 6? I, I kind of been mixing between that and Warzone. Been doing most of it on stream. I haven't had too much time to dabble in, but I get distracted all the time when there's a new multiplayer. I don't really want to grind, you know? I'm definitely getting the, the Dark Matter camo. I love the Dark Matter camo. I have to get it eventually. I don't, like, put myself, like, in the depths of it, though. And just grind like all these other guys do. That's just like not fun to me. I also think it's not even fun to watch. But I, you know, you know, I'm still trying to keep my my whole war zone thing going on while doing that. But I love playing search and gunfight. It's something about like the intensity of like the one life things. I don't know. What's your guys' favorite game mode? Let me know in the comments. And I also want to know, are you prestige? What are your camos like right now? I want, I want an update. Let me know. Let me know. Where you at in the game? Don't forget to like, subscribe, share with a friend. I appreciate it. Let's get into it. All right, so we'll start off with the patch notes for this week here. Uh, UI improves certain cases, image streaming front. Okay, so they just fixed, like, basically the uh, front end of the menus and everything. I guess it just, like, it didn't look well. Okay, some UI fixes. Not really a big thing, you know, just menus. And then uh, the way blueprint names were and stuff, how it would scroll horizontally, that's, like, fixed. Improve stability within main menus. Okay. I wish we didn't have to unload when we go to Warzone and multiplayer and then reload it. I, I still don't understand that. I hope that gets fixed with the uh, integration. All right, now multiplayer weapons address an issue where certain weapons would lose specific attachment upon match start. Okay, yeah. So there's been like a lot of glitches with these actually. There's, there's currently a glitch right now, if you don't know, where if you have a rocket launcher and you're going for the camos, if you shoot uh, like something out of the air, that counts as two kills basically, and you need 50 kills to uh get all the main camos for the rocket launchers so if you didn't know that there's a tip for you and then also if you shoot their field upgrades with the rocket launcher that also counts as uh kills too so if you're going for the camos for the rocket launcher those are some tips that'll help you but this one specifically they're saying here is uh address an issue with certain weapons with loose specific attachments upon match start you basically be making your weapon and then you could you could change it all once you get into the game it, it wouldn't have those attachments anymore. When I was watching another YouTuber, he was he kept selecting a gun and he couldn't he couldn't use it. He kept making him use the XM4 and he was trying to use like an MP5 or something like that. Dude, it was so dumb. Like, <laughs> bro's just trying to use the gun he wants to use and COD's like, nope, you're using this. And then I know when I would check camos, every time I would check camos on my rocket launcher progress, every time I click the camo button, it would send me back to the main menu. Yeah, I couldn't check it. I don't know. There's some little bugs, but, you know, at least the gameplay is like, at least for me, it's been a pretty good experience. All right, stability added various server side stability fixes. It's all good news. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so zombies, they fix the, uh, how do you say this? Terminus? Terminus? I think that's how you say it. Basically, there was a mode that lets you, or there was a glitch, like, with a zipline or something, and it would let you get, like, god mode, so they fixed that. I saw a lot of people doing this on streams. All those camo grinders and stuff. Let's see here. Stability out of various. Okay, stability fixes again. And then they also fixed the Liberty Falls one, so close an exploit on Liberty Falls that allowed players to temporarily lose enemy targeting, so they fixed that as well. We also got this week, we got Infected Mode came out. This is a fan favorite for sure. A lot of people like playing this. But also what we're wondering is, is there going to be a prop hunt? Because that's what everybody loves to play. It's so fun. It's just a nice, chill, relaxing mode that's just like fun to play. Uh, I, hope, I hope they add that though. I hope they add that. And then I'm kind of also wondering, we get Nuketown tomorrow on Friday. So... I, I'm really hoping... Oh, look. Look at that, too. So, we got double XP, double weapon XP, uh, two-time gobble gum, all this stuff. November 1st through the 4th. So, that's kind of huge, too. They're going to have TDM, Domination, Hardpoint, Kill Confirm. So, basically, the typicals. They'll also have Hardcore for it, too. So, we'll have uh, Nuketown 24-7. I'm kind of wondering if they're going to add Nuketown 2025, because that's when Black Ops 2 was started. So... You know, it'd be kind of cool to have Black Ops uh, Nuketown 2025 in 2020, 2025. 2025. Nuketown 2025 in Nuketown 2025. You know what I mean. Okay, now if we look at some of these Call of Duty updates right here, that we're investigating reports where progression levels may be incorrect in main menus. I know one of my friends was telling me that it would take a second for his to basically load the correct uh, level that he was at. Sometimes it would look like he jumped from a 1 to... 
you know 55 or whatever he was you know and just it would tell you that he gained like all that xp in one which i thought was kind of funny definitely get some clickbait stuff with that okay an issue resulting in lower expected zombies xp gains okay yeah so some people weren't getting the typical xp you would you would get lower xp or no xp for um certain areas sometimes too so that's uh that's being investigated to fix that let's see here investigating an issue that impacts the ability for players to hear each other during intermission okay okay this is a big one this is a big one so i don't know if you played search and destroy or gunfight or anything like that basically sometimes in between the rounds you can't hear people and i thought they just took it out especially at the end the end of the all the games that you play you can't hear people talking at all that's kind of like the biggest point of search and destroy why people play it man is to talk smack to each other and like you can do it at the beginning of the game and that seemed like some of the in between like intermissions it wasn't working all the time and then at the end of the game you wouldn't you wouldn't be able to talk to them at all which is the best part you know while everyone's doing their emotes and stuff like that's when everyone's just yelling oh man dude thank god this is getting fixed i don't know if this was i kind of thought they were just being soft and they took it out completely but it, it could be that they could have just gotten some feedback saying hey can we get this working you know and they're like okay we'll add it back in but they're saying that it's a bug and they you will be able to hear each other at the end of the search and destroy and gunfight game especially gunfight you know that's as, per as personal as it gets man 2v2 your duo versus their duo that's like the best Oh, that's the best smack talk you can get. All right, so we're glad that's fixed. That's that's going to be fixed. Get some good trash talk in there. Okay, investigating an issue, changing some perks and loadouts after taking today's update. What else we got here? Okay, fixing an issue where zombie weapon builds are not equipping. Okay, okay, okay. Seems like they're getting right on this stuff, you know? Dude, this, this one is one that I have. I'm glad this is getting fixed. We are investigating an issue where the minimap display enemy arrows incorrectly backwards basically when using uh the score streak so like literally the guy would be facing the other way and i'd be like oh easy kill and he's actually like ready to just like get right inside me and destroy my insides like whew, i'm just not ready for it i'm expecting him to not know i'm behind him and he's literally looking right at me it's you know skill issue